this big. I I really liked it. Just watching all the all my role models, all of them graduating, and I was I was always wanting to follow them. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a big change that you have to you get to move to classes instead of just stay in one class all day. So that's fun. My role models were the the next grade ahead of me, so just a couple of years ahead. I haven't learned much about my language. Probably I'd say elementary school, just because here we have to only in junior high we get to get in a nothing classes but after that you might as well have to carry on yourself and go to the community and learn it but just didn't want to learn myself just normal words like quana thank you mm. they speak in secret with your parents no they don't speak just my grandparents. My favorite thing about high school is the opportunities we have after school. Like we have so many different opportunities. We can go away south or just get into trades and everything. I want to go to Nate in Edmonton. It's, uh, I really like the school. I've been there last year with uh, with my students, my classmates, mm -hmm. and I really like the Nate because it's so close to home, and I have some friends in Edmonton. Looking forward to take automotive technician pre-employment. I may come back home a couple of years and search jobs here. If not, find a job elsewhere. And like, would you like go into mines or something like that? Yeah, I'm pretty interested in the mines too. Like in Cambridge, there's going to be like explorations and everything. So mm -hmm. Interested in that. But are there a lot of people with the machines that work in the mines now? There's quite a few, just some mines are shutting down and people are getting laid off. Mm. In pre-trades we enter in grade 10. We there are different courses we have to go through, not like, or it's not like, just um, different from normal classes. Like, we have to get some courses. Your goal is to um, get interested in the trades program, and after that, you're quite interested in like grade 10, 11, but in grade 12 you have to be dead on, like you have to know what to do, where to go. Okay. Yeah, you decide yourself if you want to have the pre-trades. And I, I myself had no choice because I was out at the moment. I liked it. It's going good for me. Worst thing for me was after my surgery. Um, I just stopped coming to school because I was lazy. I was 
didn't want to come to school on their crutches. When I was a year and a half old, I was diagnosed with arthritis in my right hip. After my namesake, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandmother had arthritis a lot. Mm -hmm. I was named after her, so maybe I got that arthritis from her and had surgery a year and a half old. And 13, 14 years later, I have to get a surgery again. And just from there, I went down, down, and trying to get back up again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was off crutches, and I was really getting back into sports, getting my friends again, I guess. It is, it is good, I guess. Just getting back on school, back into sports, and getting my credits that I needed. Yeah, it was hard. I failed a couple classes. Had to get on top of that again, and just went from there. I'm currently taking another class that I missed last year. It's going good. It's fun, easy, again, I guess. My favorite class, I would say, is social studies. Because you get to learn about the world wars and everything. I would uh, let the students choose what courses they want to take. Um, if you could choose what courses you wanted to take, what courses would you take? I would take social, science, math, <laughs> chemistry, and probably environment, I guess. Mm, probably math, I guess, because for my um, pre trades, it's like the requirements is like grade eleven math. So I would like to take another class instead of math. <laughs> mm -hmm. Working hard, um, probably working at the mines or probably open up an opening up a business here. Doing the automotive business? Yeah, okay. or small engine. Mm -hmm. um, probably a few, I guess, just only one Inuinaktin teacher. And it's hard for one teacher to get everybody to keep the culture alive. We need to get our elders in and ask to learn everything. I think there should be more, more for it because our culture is dying slowly and our elders are passing on and we would like to keep our culture strong. Feel sad just not helping myself and other people to keep our culture strong. Like not much people are into like traditional games and everything and traditional eating healthy lifestyles. Mostly during like 
this kind of season, spring, summer, yeah. It's always fun for me, duck hunting, egg hunting, yeah, it's fun. What kind of duck? We have Canada geese and a few other snow geese, um, Nuglevix, I don't know what are those, orange beak. Quite a few, there's, there are some king eiders on the ice during late spring. Where do you go hunting? I go hunting with my best friends sometimes with their parents and once in a while go out with my mom because she's mostly working, hard work. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So you learn how to hunt from your parents? Or? Yeah, I learn from my parents and my grandparents and family. When they do talk to me, they talk to me in English. I guess they just, they know we don't understand much. Yeah. But yeah, they, when they, um, like when they're scolding us, we can understand them. Yeah. You know what they say? Yeah. They probably learned them from their children while after residential school and everything, probably. Yeah, this my decision, I just said, oh, I'm tired of staying home all day and doing nothing. I'm gonna go back to school and get my grades up again. So I kept pushing in all my friends too. 